My name is Dewan. I'm a young man who likes code, design, and game engineer. Up to Code presents valuable information that will help anyone that wants to go into this field, and it'll help you in the long run. My podcast will greatly help anyone that wants to get into computer science and coding. I can also say my podcast will be very interesting. Y'all don't want to miss out on this. Go watch it at pljulianhs.net. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to whoever's watching this. I present to you all Up to Code, the show that tells you all everything about coding. And I'm here with a special guest, Mr. Robinson. He's well known as Sensei and the game and technology teacher. Without further ado, let's get started. Hello, Sensei. How are you feeling today? I'm well. What inspired you to be the gaming teacher? Well, I like gaming. I've been gaming since, I don't know what, four? Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Uh Atari, that type of thing. So I've always wanted to do something in game. Mm -hmm. Um, If not a game tester, a game creator, programmer, or someone who enjoys teaching gaming in general. So Mm -hmm. I went to school for gaming. Um, I got three degrees, one in computer science, one in IT, and the other in higher learning. And the one in computer science I had, um, went to school for programming and gaming, utilizing gaming engines and things of that nature. So Mm -hmm. I just always had a passion for it. So you said, you was a game creator. Can you tell me about the game you created? Um, so I've created several games, um, but they're like Super Mario-esque mm-hmm. type games. So, so it's like 2D? Yes, yeah, 2D. Mm-hmm. Flow Lab is the engine that I used, and I got up to about like 10 levels so far. Mm. So it's not like um, Steam worthy, but uh-huh. it's so cool. you So you discontinued it? Or are you still working on it? I'm still working on it. Mm. When what I get back to it, I don't know. When. I mean, I feel like you should. But what would you say is your favorite thing about coding or gaming? Well, let's start with coding. Um, my favorite thing about coding is when you write a script and you run it and it's successful, it makes you feel, you know, accomplished. Mm-hmm. Compared to like if you're testing things and you and you um, and you have errors, me understanding what errors there are um, from when you are coding is an accomplishment as well because I can fix it or troubleshoot it faster. Mm-hmm. How hard do you think it is to learn code? Uh, extremely. extremely, extremely hard. It's like I would compare it to learning another language. Mm. Actually, I, I think I can agree with that. I try see, I'm kind of, sort of, kind of in the process of learning code language. Mm-hmm. It's like in, encrypted language. It's weird. It's hard to get used to, and it's a lot to remember. What, um, what coding, uh, like what program? Do you know, like, Lua? Lua. Yes. Is, is that one of the hardest? Lua... I, I don't have any experience with Lua, um, but what I can say is the hardest programming language that I've experienced was assembly language. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I would say like C++, C mm-hmm. Sharp. Um, and then if we're, if we're ranking uh, JavaScript, HTML, and Oracle. Yeah, I think Java might be the hardest, but it's well known. But how would you rate your first experience of coding? Like the first time you did code? You said rate? Yes. Zero. Zero? Why? <laughs> Why? I sucked at it so bad. I mean, but it was, <clears throat> it was, it was a learning experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like anything else, uh, when you're learning something new, mm-hmm. um, once you practice and look at templates of others who were successful, then uh, you were able to emulate those scripts and have a successful program. So uh, like anything that you do for the first time, unless you're like a super genius or something mm-hmm. like that, uh, it's going to be hard. See, honestly, I think it's hard 
to look at templates of other people's, like I would see somebody else's work and think maybe I could try to recreate that. But I try to recreate it, but it's sloppy, messed up, it's out of the place, it's everywhere. I find it hard to like match what they trying to do. But what advice? Wait, you had a comment? Mm-hmm. I disagree. But it's you, okay. You disagree. <laughs> I mean, that's just my personal okay, experience. Okay, okay, okay. So what advice would you give to someone like me who's getting into coding? Um, lots of YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, that, YouTube tutorials. But it has to be like specific things that you want to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, if you want your program to multiply, then you would have to figure out all of the equations and then once you figure out the equations then you can use the programming uh script to do the multiplication on its own that type of thing so Mm -hmm. you would youtube something like how to multiply in java Mm -hmm. so once you have those specific um tasks that you want the computer to do then you can excel that way but you just have to know how and i think for me, it's visual, so understanding something visual is better than just trying to read it or something like that, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Mm-hmm. So, what's something that helped you when you found Coding Hard, besides YouTube, mm-hmm. what's something that helped you get through coding when you found it hard? So, I had a network of um, um, people in my class when I was in college, mm-hmm. uh, mostly Indian. Uh, So uh, it it was predominantly Indian in my class. Mm -hmm. I was was like two or three uh, black people. Mm -hmm. But we all band together. And whoever did the program first, um, we would use that person's program as a template to understand. And, And it wasn't just like one person, everybody that had a specific niche that they did in the um, Mm -hmm. program learning process, we would uh, use that and and network with each other. Do you plan on developing your code skills? Like as you are right now? Yes. Um, The more you learn, the better you are. So Mm -hmm. um, if I start the learning process again, uh, which I... I still am, like, I'm still doing stuff in CSS and, and HTML5. It's like website design. Mm-hmm. So uh, once I understand how to do certain things, uh, like, for example, um, getting your website to just, like, pop up pop up at you as, mm-hmm. you know, like an animation or something like that. Mm-hmm. So once I understand, like, how to grasp, like, most of the CSS language and the uh, HTML5 language, then... I'm definitely, definitely want to uh, use that and progress with that and probably create websites for people. Mm -hmm. See, I think I need to start getting into that, too, because me and my friend group trying to make a clothing brand. But that's a topic for another day. But that will be all for today. But I thank you, Sensei, for making time for me and joining me in this podcast. And I also want to thank you all for watching Up to Code. Thank you. See you next time.